and welcome back. This is Beller Skibber with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Pagoda. He is ranked 15th in his gold division with 92 wins, 96 losses, and 1,216 points. And here we are in the game. I've spawned as the blue Terran in the southwest up against Pagoda. He is also Terran, but he is red because he's angry that, well, he's, he's just angry. The map is Steps of War. I had to think about that one for a second again. Once again, I always get this one confused with Jungle Base, and I don't know why. I think it's just because it's green. I really should. I mean, I do get them straight, but I always forget from time to time. I, I do want to apologize a little bit. I did not realize I went to upload the 100th episode today, and I realized that that lag spike that I hit in the middle of the video actually caused an audio desync. I will do my best to make sure that never happens again. It was very interesting watching my commentary. It felt like while I was watching it again that I was somehow a little bit psychic because I was going over things that didn't really show up on screen yet. Not, not a fan of that. So I'll do my best to make sure that doesn't happen again. Uh, Whoa, what is that? That That is a barracks. That is gonna go over the gas. Whatever, man. Whatever floats your boat. Mine, mine's in the standard position. It's more there to spot the ramp more than it is to guard it or block it off. So I'm going around the base. And I've seen the barracks and the refinery, nothing nothing really unusual there. It's kind of a fast refinery, but mine's late, I know that. Yeah, it's a little bit late, but his was a little bit early, So, but not early enough for me to automatically assume some kind of crazy tech build or anything like that. Actually, his looked like it was late based on when the, the barracks finally did go up. And this guy is queued up a storm. Look at that. And he should be getting out there now that he sees that the Marine is out and ready to go. But he does not. And he stays in there so that he can die. Because he apparently did not like life that much. He's a little emo SCV. And he dies. He's not going to be able to get a add-on onto that barracks unless he lifts it up. I do catch the SCV inside my base, try to get him out with a Marine as well, and he's queued up to leave, so I should be safe now. I'm getting a reactor on my first barracks, and two more barracks it looks like? No. I'm getting two more barracks now. He is actually teching up into a factory. That That is why the gas was a little bit early. Yeah. The barracks, it looks like, was a little bit early. So I should have a lead. I do have a small lead in the harvester count. There we go. Barracks lifting off and moving out. It looks like the barracks was there just to prevent any sort of SCV harassment. But I have ranged units, so I don't know what the point of that was. And a ton of gas now coming in for Pagoda. Look at that. He's, he's got two fully saturated. That means that only 12 harvesters are going to be able to harvest all these minerals here. And considering that looks like one, two of them are out building. And one is out spotting. That leaves nine plus the mules. That is not going to be enough, I don't think. Depends on what he's going for here. He lifted, he built the tech lab on the barracks, lifted it off, moved it away, and now he's going to be building a second barracks. This is quite a confusing build, not one I have seen before. A Hellion is out as well. What is going on here? And an armory going up in the back, so it looks like he's going to be going for a quick Thor? That would be my guess. Yeah, the, there we go. Factory down on... There we go, Thor. Factory went down on the tech lab, so a quick Thor is on the way. Meanwhile, I am getting 
Marines and Marauders with their upgrades. Doesn't look like they have. Oh, Concussive Shells is finished, so I do have one upgrade done on them. Engineering Bay going up. It is a little bit late, but I don't have the minerals to start anything on it anyways. He is going for the Weapons Level 1 upgrade on the vehicles that apparently a Thor is a vehicle because that upgrade will count for him as well. I say him because of course he's got, I don't know, what is it, an Austrian accent, German accent, something like that. He sounds like Schwarzenegger, I'll be honest. He drops a scan on my base. So he will be able to see that I do have an army consisting of Marines and Marauders. How is his resources doing? Yeah, he's he's got a lot of gas and not that many minerals. And he put a ton of SUVs to guard the Thor? What? Uh, what? I, I am confused. What what's going on here? Hellion freaking out in the corner. Oh, okay. Looks like he was going for a push and then cancel it, decided not to go for it. Um I felt this was a good time to move out. So I started to move out. Not knowing really anything that's going on here. Factory lifted off again. And now it's gonna build another tech lab? A second Thor is out. He does have two Thors, 11 Marines, and one Hellion. I drop a stim, move into his base. What am I going to be able to take out? Pretty much everything. I do lose sight, though. So these guys should fall down. They do. So I'm left with two Marauders and one Marine as they run back to the uh, base because they're scared as hell of a Thor, but he was he's fully healed now because he has all these SCVs guarding him. Good lord, how many SCVs is that guarding him right there? Uh, seven. It looks like seven. I don't know what's going on with that. SCV coming up, he will be destroyed easily. And it looks like I am going for another push here? Because, no, no, not another push. I was going to try to justify it, but luckily I, I was not going for it. I'm just moving out so I can secure an expansion. Looks like my macro did slip a little bit there. His, though, is a little bit worse than mine right now. He is starting to get more minerals. And calling down, oh, I've never been a fan of that. He called down, was it? A supply drop is what it's called, and it gets instant eight minerals, or sorry, eight supply up for 50 energy. It basically wastes a mule or a scan. And here I drop a scan, and I'm like, you know, he's got, he's pretty much got nothing besides that Thor. I don't, I don't think I realized that the Thor had the upgrade. Was it? That one's for ground, so he does 33 damage to ground, but it is very slow. Two Banshees are out and on the way to do some harassment. I don't have any missile turrets up, but they are definitely on the way. I always like to get those missile turrets up once I realize that my opponent has gone for the tech build. Five of them, that is probably too many, I'll be honest. And I'm completely oversaturated here. That's because my expansion is not up yet. Banshees are chilling out in the back. Not really doing much of anything. Marine gonna go die. That was a scouting Marine, I assume. Another Banshee on the way to join his friends. As well as a fourth Banshee. So I guess he's waiting for four Banshees before he's gonna do any sort of push or anything there. Orbital Command being morphed in. You guys need to transfer. Like yesterday. 27 of them. What are we producing here? I am getting a reactor. Where is that going down? That is on my starport. I am going to be getting medevacs, I believe. Not vikings, although vikings would help right now. Oh, go help it! No, it goes down. I, I am able to take out one of the banshees. 
And where, where's my army? Oh, come on guys, where are those marines? And boom, drops a <laughs> I have to drop a scan because he did cloak and I'm able to take out all but one of the banshees. That banshee survives with three kills. And I don't have anything here, so he is going for the siege tank. He wants that done out and killed as soon as possible. Medivacs aren't out and more being made now. One more, and then I stopped it looks like. I was happy letting that siege tank die because really there was nothing I could do about it. I don't believe I have enough energy for another scan. Just now got enough for it and two more banshees are out. So I dropped a scan which was stupid because the banshees followed the SCV so that scan pretty much ended up being useless. So I put them back on the mineral line hoping that these missile turrets will help take these guys out and it looks like oh that guy's just out of range. So I'm running in and I should be able to take this guy out before he runs off. I do drop a stim because I have the medevacs, so I'm not too concerned about that. Siege tanks are out. Um, siege mode being researched for Pagoda. He is now just, just now getting his expansion starting to be built. Third barracks up. He's got two starports, a factory, and he has spent pretty much what the hell was that it looks like he salvaged a bunker he's pretty much we've gone for overall pretty similar builds we in terms of overall s expenditure that's a big word but in terms of what we have you know that thor early thor was just strange to me i my guys are one one his thor is one zero Bunker being placed out front. I do have a Viking out. Um, and he drops a scan right outside where he knows my army's probably going to be. And he guesses right once again. Good guesses, but I don't know how much of a guess those things are. But he's still got a ton of energy left on that orbital command. He has not been using that energy wisely, nor has he been using his minerals wisely. Where are the Marines? Uh... Reactor is on the way just now, but he's still not producing any, it doesn't look like. No, he is getting Vikings, starting to get the weapons level 1 upgrade for the infantry as well. A uh, couple more bunkers out, never, doesn't look like he ever got a Marauder. Nope, just, those are all Marines right there. And they don't have the, co the combat shield, they don't have stim pack. They are going to be getting the weapons upgrade number one but that is the only upgrade for all those marines how many of them does he have he does have 25 and of course i have 19 along with 21 marauders one viking and two medevacs he does have a thor out though so he does out thor me still in this game another barracks going up there i wouldn't put it there but I'm moving in now, and I'm going to be able to catch most of this army out of position because they are trying. They're still going for the rocks. What is their problem? Oh my gosh! So he finally start goes to take him off the rocks, and oh, he moved command him, caught his mistake, and I'm able to wipe out almost the entire army. Only thing left was the Thor, and that is gone now too. He does get a sensor tower up. So, yeah, he will definitely be able to see my army moving around. Oh, but I destroyed it. How will he see my army now? Taking out the expansion. Taking out everything. And he is forced to leave the game because he wasn't paying attention. But to be honest, I don't know if his army would have been able to stand up against what I had. Even if he was in position. That one siege tank was sieged up, as uh, of course, but all the marines that were out here taking out these rocks had actually never even went down. But that's the game. Interesting, interesting game. A uh, quick Thor. I can't say I've ever played against it. I have seen it. Usually it comes with a dropship and you know, you start dropping stuff in the back here. But that did not happen this game. It was a quick defensive Thor. I've never seen that. I'm still producing. So hooray for me. 
What do I? How's my resources doing? Ah, still have a lot of minerals. But I'm doing great on gas. Just a strange build, if I may say so. A really late command center. Energy not being spent. He still has 171 energy. Missile turrets did finally go up on my expansion. That they were late as well. Uh, these. Once again, I built too many though. I, I built. I, I tend to do that. I tend to freak out and build a ton of missile turrets. If I'm being honest, maybe one here and one here would do it, and then maybe one out, out there. But I, I'm so used to mass mutas that I just build missile turrets that way whenever I build missile turrets. So that was the game. I hope you guys laughed. I hope you learned, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.